it's a known fact that Aishwarya Rai Bachchan and Rekha share a strong bond of friendship. The two have always shared warm pleasantries whenever they meet up during events. Not just that, Aishwarya's work has always been praised by Rekha whenever an opportunity arose. So talking to one of the popular magazine about Aishwarya's work over the two decades, which she has just completed in Bollywood, Rekha shared her thoughts in a heartfelt letter. Here's what she had to say. My Ash, a woman like you who is in harmony with her spirit is like a flowing river, never stagnant. She goes where she wants to without pretense and arrives at a destination prepared to be herself and only herself. People may forget what you said. They may also forget what you did. But they will never forget how you made them feel. You're a living example that courage is the most important of all the virtues because because without courage you can't practice any other virtue consistently. Your deep strength and pure energy introduces you even before you speak. The worst thing you did was to be present with the present with gratitude. You pursued the things you loved doing and then did them so well that people can't take their eyes off you. You on your own are enough with nothing to prove to anyone. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take but by the moments that take our breath away. You have come a long way baby. Having endured many hurdles like the phoenix you rise, I cannot pen down in words how proud I am of that little cool moon-faced girl who took my breath away the very instant I first laid my eyes on her. You always gave better than the best to all the roles you were bestowed with. But my most cherished character of yours is the role of the complete amma that you are. To the little bundle of pure joy called Aradhya. Keep loving and spreading your magic. Two decades of Aishwarya Rai Bachchan. Wow. Aashirwads and duas. I wish for you more goodness and blessings, much more than your heart can contain. Love you, Jeetha Rahu Rekha Ma. Now, isn't that sweet?